Percentage sweep, uh, and I can I consider the half guard sweep um, or the underhook uh, as a continuation of the single leg takedown as well. Okay, so basically, if he's on his knees, I'll, I'll look for the underhook, and we start trying to get up from here to get up um, and take him down. If he stands up, that underhook is going to come around the leg, and we chase the, the single leg. Okay, but there's, yeah, you can break sweeps down into three different types of sweeps. Um, one of them is when I, I'm sweeping forward, okay? And when usually if I pull them forward, I'm basically trying to bring their base forward and remove their post. So it could be the scissor sweep, we pull him forward, remove the post, and we get him over. There's heaps, heaps of different ways of this sweep. So we can't even from half guard, we can pull forward, take away the post, bring them over. Um, the second type of sweep, if uh, Kate is standing, is I say like lumberjack style sweeps, but you know, where we kind of tilt them backwards. Okay? And we can come up from that, or it could be similar from you know single leg X guard, where we want to take them backwards. Get up. And then the third is where we actually attach ourselves to leg and we stand up with the leg, or, or, or with an underhook as well. Okay, so something like this, where we come up uh, almost into a standing position holding on to or with the, the other. Um, so if you if you don't use this style of attack then you're missing basically one third of your sweeping options and they all should work together each type of sweep when they're resisting one way pull them forward or tilt them back then you're coming up for the half uh, so everything has to link together all right so what we're going to do um, we're going to do just like we did with framing hips away far blocking the arm we're gonna kick up a little bit and get the under, so we're gonna make a little bit of space. We sit up and immediately get around the corner. This is not a good position for me to wait around in right now, because uh, if Kato wants to drive me back, he can. Exactly, okay. Immediately, I get around the corner, okay. Now drive me back, Kato. Very difficult. I take this elbow back, I've got good base. My chest is facing down towards the mat, not upwards. Yeah, easy for him to drive me back, okay. Bring elbow back, and we're here. Okay. Now, this I don't, I've seen this taught a lot, and I reckon most people don't teach this correctly, which is how to get our leg out. Most people start getting up with their legs still in, and now I'm stuck. And if Kato wants to drive me back down, I got no base behind me. Okay, because this leg's stuck. So what I want to do, I got to switch my feet. My right foot is going to come over. And my left leg is going to come out. Okay. Now, how do I get up? Because my leg's still stuck here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull my foot back and Kata's foot as well. Actually, everyone probably wants to look from behind here. So I've caught the leg, I'm gonna pull his foot back, and I'm gonna put my foot on the mat. My knee has to be pointing somewhat upwards, okay? Common mistake is to do it here. How much drive do I have through that leg right now? None. Here, I can actually bridge, okay? And I'm going to push my chest and my hips into Kata's and I push into Kata like a bridge and watch what happens with his knee. So right now I can't get my left leg out. Watch what happens to his knee. He lifts, right? So I lift my hips. His leg lifts up and I can free my leg out wide. Now how much base do I have behind me? Try and drive me back down, Kata. I'm up on my leg. Start to drive through and finish the sweep. So what we're doing, we're here. That's what I do We drag the foot, so I've got a good bridge into them. Push forward with your hips. I'm staying in that bridge. I retract my leg. And we're coming out with a good wide base to drive through. Around the corner, switch feet, drag the foot. We're gonna bridge in, free our knee, our foot turn, and step out wide. Okay, from here, grab the leg, pull towards you, head in the, the front, and we finish the takedown. Okay, that's gonna do one. Stand up on that leg. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Hold right on.
All right, let's have a go. Three, two, one. Oh, this is important. Um, so we get our, we got our, our frame. We get our underhook. We get around the corner. Okay, with this foot, this isn't enough. Okay, just changing your feet isn't enough. How good is my base right now? Good. Like when I bridge. Right. It's not like good. not amazing. I can bridge up, but I can't bridge into cater very well. What I need to do is, and it's going to help me in a few ways, but it gives me better base, but it also turns Kater's hips up. I'm going to drag his foot as far as I can, like this. Okay, see how his hips have turned away? And now I've got a wider base. So if I take Kater away for a second. If I want to bridge this way, and my foot's here, like, it's kind of not a great bridge. When I actually take my foot back, I've got drive into it. Yeah, so now I can actually push and lift his hips. So, uh, when you catch the leg, you actually gotta pull it back all the way to here. The other thing it does is it starts turning their back to you, which is just good. I don't want, I don't want Kater to face me. Yeah, he can face me right now. Yeah, but watch what happens when I turn his foot away, try and face me Kater. Like, you can get to about there, okay? So the more pressure on the hips, the, the better. It, the, I'm basically doing this. Okay. Pressuring here and here. Turn to your left, Keta. Turn to face me. And see if his leg stops him. So I want that pressure. He's turning his back to me, which is what we wanted to do, right? So, um, so let's just do that one more minute each. Make sure when we get up and get around the corner, switch feet. Make sure you drag the foot, not out wide, because he could flick his foot free maybe, especially later on, but like pull back towards your butt a bit. Okay. Bridge in, come up, and then the knee. Has to go down to the mat. This is the other thing I wanted to emphasize. Because um, I see this happen when people try it a lot. They, they do everything right. And they keep this knee pointing up when they get up. We don't want to do that. We actually want to close that back down as soon as we get up. So watch this. If I keep my knee up, I do the bridge. I give him a big gap to free his leg. And I just did all that work and he can free his leg. So what I do. Come in here, we bridge out, we track, my knee goes down, free your leg kid, and I can track him. And drive him down. Right. One minute each on that, okay? Three, two, one. That's half guard, this is half guard that we've just been playing, it's great, but if uh, Kata stands up, you can't really do this, uh, this same move, right? If I, if you uh, stand up, yeah. Even if it's just on one leg, but it could be on both feet. Um, if I go for the underhook when he's standing like this, I don't get to control his his uh, body very well or his knee. So what's going to happen? Kate is going to drive his knee to this side and go towards either three quarter mount or mount. Okay. So if we go again, uh, if we're here, or even if uh, we go for the first one, so quick, and then he starts to stand up. If I stay on the hip, this is becoming very bad for me. See where his his knee's gone, so very hard for me to stop now, Kata from going across. So I need to actually change this hand immediately. As soon as I feel they're standing, I'm gonna change the hand to the knee. And the main thing is I can't let the knee go to the outside, okay? I don't care if he puts his knee on the inside. Uh, like this, this doesn't really help him, but going to the outside is very bad for me, okay? So what, what we're gonna do, we're here, we're gonna get the underhook, so we <laughs> and get the underhook, and then Kate is going to respond by standing up. Immediately change your grip to the knee, like this. Now head positioning is really, really important for this, uh, this move we're going to do, which is basically a single leg. For the sake of it, stand up on both feet, just so we can, yeah. Um, but pressure downwards, so like you're trying to, yeah. Okay, so I need to have solid structure for, through my spine, my hand, and my head. Be like this, so drive, back, drive me back down that head. Stand up with the leg, okay? If everything's straight. If you go like this, you're gonna get squashed. Uh, and I'll just, just to show you. So, if I'm here, I get the underhook, Kata stands up, and I try and get out of this, push my hip. This is pushing my hip, yeah. So then I try to get up, and I get squashed, okay? My head has to be, uh, I have to be like this. I keep this structure. If he's pressuring into me, 
then that structure like blocks him from uh, getting down low. Okay, if he's trying to run away, that's fine. I just keep that structure and I follow him. So there's this kind of two reactions Kate is going to have from here. He tries to pressure in and, and stop me, but I've got good posture like this, and I can start to get up and stand up with the leg. Work and take that. If if I get here again, but Kate tries to run away, that's fine. Kate's not kind of helping me up if he does that. Uh, but that posture is really important for this one. Okay, other things that are important. And so you have to be quick on this particular part of the reaction. Watch my left leg, this inside leg. So it's hooked here at first. When Kata stands, what I want to do is get my knee attached to his ankle. So I'm grabbing the knee and I'm turning the corner, knee attached to the ankle. The more on the side of the leg I am, the worse it is to take. Okay. So if I can actually put my chest on the side of his knee, try and face him, you see that's difficult for him to do. Uh, if he's front on to me, which is where I don't want, I don't want to be like here. Yeah. Okay, hard for me to get up like this. So I'm moving to the side of the leg, like this. Okay, better squash me. Okay, so from here, all we do, we stand up. You don't have to take their leg with you. Sometimes, when you get up, you just do this. Okay? Just keep hold of the knee, and then both hands connect together once you're up. If I've got his knee, I don't need to pinch his leg together with a single leg. If I've got his knee controlled, I've got control of him, and I want my head high. Get this pressure through the shoulder. So how much pressure do you feel on your thigh and knee? Okay. Good. Oh, good. Okay. So that's what we want. I'm gonna step in front, and I'm gonna step back with my outside leg. Okay. So the action. Like this. Don't try to lean them. We're actually dragging them to the mat. So I'm pulling his leg down as I do this, this step. I step and I pull his leg down to the mat. What I'm not doing, which is the most common mistake, is trying to lean his leg. I'm not going and trying to like do this. One, you can injure your opponent's leg, but two, it's not that effective to actually get him down. But sticking to the leg like this, dragging him down as you pass. Okay, so all in one. A bit of half guard like this. Sit up, Kata stands. I turn the corner, I've got the knee, a good posture. I'm going to drive to stand up. Okay, you can either I'll just go back one sec. You can drive forward. So if I can, I drive forward through him. If he's driving into me strongly, then I'm going to have to start getting back to get up. Either way is fine. Stay on the knee, front, and we're on the path. A bit more energy consuming, but it's very effective. Let's go uh, three minutes each, three, two, one, and we'll do 